Well, they're going to have to do something special to please this crowd after that effort. Here we go. It's Sri Lanka versus Hong Kong. The cup final of League One of the series here at Hong Kong Football Club. In the heart of the city, the final match of today. The crowd gives a big Hong Kong welcome to the Sri Lankans and hometown heroes under skipper Max Woodward. And here's Tanushka Ranjan, number eight, the star of this squad. Keep your eyes on him. Kevin Joseph, number 11. He's been scoring tries. They've got danger all across the field. Hong Kong have been operating pretty efficiently themselves. Tom and Alex McQueen and Ryan Meacham that Ben Rimini in particular has been slotting the goals and he leads the way with four tries for his side so these teams met earlier on in the Battle of Pool B yesterday late and Hong Kong scored four unanswered tries to beat Sri Lanka 22-0 so they might go into this as favourites but Nothing's for certain in Sevens Rugby, that we know for sure. This crowd still pumped from the Women's Cup final we just saw between China and Japan. And Ben Rimini it is to get us underway in the final match of leg one of the Asia Rugby Seven Series. Tom McQueen goes through, makes it difficult, comes back to Rimini. James Cunningham with an early touch and he's going to be disappointed with himself on that one right on the halfway an early scrum for Sri Lanka they'll have to get themselves into this game early Jed they will, they won't want to be chasing a team like Sri Lanka at all because it is a race you are quite likely to lose straight behind the scrum we've got Dulage Pereira with the bandaged head he throws out a whopping great massive pass, crazy stuff to Danushka Ranjan, he takes on Yu Kam Shing and as easy as that, he always beats his first man. Oh, look at the tap inside, the hands! Oh, no, I don't believe it. Still up. Pereira can go all the way. That's McQueen's on him like a cheap suit. Coming in is Duncha and Danushka Ranjan leans over. Yeah, he started it, he finishes it. What a start from Sri Lanka. Unbelievable. Well, how good is this guy? How good is he? From nothing down on the 22, he's lit them up, the one hand flick pass, and then he has made the home team pay dearly there. And we think about not wanting to be behind them when the race started, and it is all on. Sri Lanka, out of the blocks, Hong Kong, bearing witness, kick to come, but that is breathtaking. He had I wasn't too sure whether I was watching a team from Suva or Sri Lanka then. Yeah. We want to take that back a bit further on the replay. The skills, the interplay on the halfway mark. Sublime. And just for good measure, Pereira knocks it over. So it's seven points to nil. How did Danush Garanja, under the attention of Cunningham and Woodward, manage to get his arm out? It was locked up. Well, from the initial pass from the scrub. Yeah, exactly. I think we thought it was all over. It was dead and buried. He's put them under pressure. They've gone 90 metres of scored. Couldn't score yesterday against Hong Kong, and they're out the blocks with seven. With two and a half gone, and it's a bit of a crowd silencer. You can hear a pin drop here now. Hong Kong will come back, though. They go up too early. Yu Kam Shing's misjudged that one, and it's Sri Lanka on attack again. Here goes Dunsha. And they look fired up, the Sri Lankans. Oh, he's got that dreaded thing called momentum in sevens, and when a team gets it, you literally just have to hang on until it stops. Chris Mays there thought he was in. Came flying out of the line there and leapt athletically in the air like a salmon. But couldn't quite take it. So another scrum to Sri Lanka. So I guess the question is, can Hong Kong hang on to Sri Lanka? They are clearly playing with a hot hand at the moment. Woodward and Cunningham there taking in the big ones. Woodward especially had to run all the way back to that corner flag to try and stop Danushka. 
There's just little aspects to the Sri Lankan play that are putting Hong Kong off their step a little bit. Little dummies, carries to the line. Kevin Joseph feeds it now to Pereira through that crazy pass earlier. Quite clearly back themselves for pace. Here's Jason, takes on Tom McQueen on the outside. That's a knock forward, surely. Plain advantage to Hong Kong. There's Woodward. Rimini now. You. You goes around the outside of Torinda. Covering comes across and Ben Rimini gets in there, throws his considerable weight into the ruck. This is a big opening, open passage of play. Tom McQueen goes back. He's got his brother Alex with him. And James Cunningham. Tom McQueen gets caught in a good spot tackle by Torinda. Woodward now surging downfield. May secures. Rimini under the attentions. McQueen's hook up again. It's Cunningham. Can he catch it? Can he finish it? Ranjan's there around the ankles. Going high as Jason. Tom McQueen's on hand. Cunningham's there. Will he like to go put his ears back? Head down. He's over. James Cunningham. Pins one back for Hong Kong. After some good build-up work, a good team try, and they're on the board, 7-5. Well, the man they call the hammer, or does he just call himself the hammer? We're not too sure on those reports. He's managed to find his way to the line, Hong Kong get to the line. That's more like blunt force trauma. Hong Kong at the moment, Ben Rimini. He is heaving. A rare miss by Ben Rimini on his lefty. And so Hong Kong get a valuable five, but they trail by two. There's James Cunningham. I think since he cut off his long flowing locks, he's no longer the hammer. He's just JC. Rimini, an expert of the restarts, and I uh, shouldn't have said that. <laughs> That'll be a free kick back on halfway. Frenetic. A minute. Just over a minute. About a minute remaining. And look at this from Omar Kapuna, the big man. He's got the vision right, but the execution not so. And here goes you with that early break. It's Woodward. Skip up. Takes in two or three players. Swing it back the other way. Rimini with a wide one. Queen with the footwork. Out to brother Alex. And back to his brother. How many times have they done that? Tom McQueen, can he get away from Torinda? No, he can't. He realises that. Rimini there on hand. Woodward now. It's a two on one if they can work it. Can Woodward put you away in the corner? Tanushka Ranjan's there. He doesn't miss. The arm goes out as Rimini once again is forced to get involved with the rough stuff. He taps it quick, gives it to Mays. Can he just power his way over? He does, Chris Mays in front of the sportsman's bar. Try number two for Hong Kong. Again, a good team try and a good build up. They take the lead for the first time. Uh, Hong Kong structures and processes versus flair and charisma. Accuse Chris Mays of having too much sophistication or charisma. There's a lot of sophistication on that top lip, and Rimini sends it over for a 14 7 advantage at half time. And again, we're being treated here to a top class cup final here at the football club in Hong Kong. I wouldn't mind just seeing that little post-try celebration by Chris Mays there. I'm not sure. I'm sure, he's, I'm sure he'll find it on video somewhere. He'll find an angle somewhere <laughs> and promote it relentlessly. Quite incredible, really, that uh, two pools here, Group A, Pool A and Pool B. Pool A was 
the pool of death, they were calling it, featuring China, Japan and South Korea. Three big guns. Pool B, the easier group, with Sri Lanka and Hong Kong, but it's these two teams that have made their way into the final. While well, the other three big guns battled it out in Pool A. And I suppose Hong Kong yet to really pull the trigger and put Ryan Meacham out there. Well, I guess. All the people in his hometown back in New Zealand to be waiting for. All 11 of them. So, Hong Kong. Come back, I can't see much deviation from the plan they the end of the half with. Maybe Sri Lanka will be looking for another silver bullet to fire. Who knows? It's definitely a game of chalk and cheese between these two. Kadu Lee is on the field. Oh, cool. As is Rowan Barty. So early substitutions from Gareth Baber. Hong Kong only really missing Jamie Hood, another veteran taking a contract in Japan. We go Black Rams as we're underway again in this pressure cooker of a cup final. Rowan Barty can't get up to get that one. So Sri Lanka immediately with the ball. Pereira looking for Danushka Ranjan and look at this it's Jason he's going to go down the side Kadu Lee's not going to catch him and charisma as you say from Sri Lanka flair straight from their own kickoff they're in under 30 seconds hard to defend isn't it hard to defend technically haven't done anything wrong. The bounce of the ball has set the fate. And Sri Lanka are on hand to make it count. Dulaj Pereira from very wide out looking to put Sri Lanka in the lead. He's got under that one but I think he's Ooh, that must have been very close. So 12 all. Just a minute into this second half. Turning out to be another beauty. You can see some more changes for Hong Kong have taken place. Lee Jones is on. Michael Coverdale's on. So 12 all. Finished at 22 0 yesterday between these two sides. Sri Lanka didn't fire a shot, but here they go with another pinpoint restart. Yukam Shing's knocked it back. Coming through the line is Tarinda Radwati. And they've got the ball back once more. More pressure for Hong Kong. There goes Kevin Joseph. Gets out wide to the news garage. And he's not going to stop him. Ben Rimini tries to get him over in the corner, but how about this guy? Sri Lanka with their tails up. Side to side, wonderful stuff from the Sri Lankans. Well, look at this. As soon as they got it, they knew they were over the chance. And even if they thought they were on the half a chance. And any celebration Chris Bays can do, I can do better. Pretty happy, aren't they? That was a beauty. So, in front of their home crowd, Hong Kong now have uh, just over four minutes. No need to panic. Five points in it with the kick to come. They just have to keep to their systems and structures. And again, Dulaj Pereira gets right under that with a pitching wedge. And hasn't got the leg. So, two great tries. And it's 17 12 with about four minutes remaining. Well, that science officer Spock would say. Fascinating. <laughs> Third restart in a row. Can Hong Kong get this one right? Sri Lanka got the measure of them on the last two. Rowan Barty goes up with Coverdale lifting him, and he's like an electric eel out of the blocks there, like a coiled spring. 
Kadu Lee puts Max Woodward for a gap. Thought he might have taken it forward. Ben Rimini calling Max Woodward around the back. Rimini, beautifully timed pass back to Lee. Here comes Yu Kam Shing. Takes it into three Sri Lankan players. Sri Lanka penalised to Lee Jones goes quick. Can they work it back this way to Varty? He's got his hand up, he's unmarked. Pop it out. Can he put Varty away? It's good work from the young man. Taking it into the Sri Lankan 22 now. Vardy fires it away to Rimini. It's you. Oh, he's lucky, lucky to get away there. Lee Jones quick on the scene. And now it's Mark with Kavanaugh. He's been working out on the ring. Again, the Sri Lankans come back at them. Good defence. As Vardy got some magic up the sleeve. Was Lee Jones sticking off his left. He's out. He's too big and strong. Lee Jones levels it up. 17 all, and you can hear the crowd. Terrific work by Coverdale there in the lead up. As he took on three defenders, and he made 15 metres on his own. It sets up the end of the try, which was strongly finished by Lee Jones. He's a veteran, cool under pressure. As Coverdale, the youngster, though, he had the threat of Vardy on the outside, used him well against the defence. And as they just didn't quite want to commit to Carvedale, he was happy to take the yards and create the pressure at Rimini's Cup. Look at that. It's a Cerevi style with minimal effort and it goes down the middle. And so Hong Kong back in the lead by two points. And I noticed Sri Lankans there pointing to the referee, thinking that Lee Jones might have knocked that on as he scored. He did fumble it a bit, but I think he just regathered it in time. The only thing that Ben Rimini does with less, def less effort is walk to work. <laughs> that was a minimal effort job. So now 19-17 with a minute and a half remaining. It's Sri Lanka's turn to strike back. And this man here is going to have to be involved, you'd think. Like Jang Song Moon and Ma Chong, he's one of the... Premier stars for these sides. That's gone forward, so crucial mistake from the Sri Lankans. The crowd senses victory here. And it's going to be a Hong Kong feed to the scrum on the 22. Sri Lanka will have to go 80 metres, but they, we know they can. They went 110 against China after the Huda. But it's a penalty to Sri Lanka. And will they have a shot? Rimini's talking to the ref. Who's Skipper up now there? Woodward's still on, so he's calling the shots. He's going to have a shot. And that's how much it means to this Hong Kong side to win. Drop kick, of course. The Hooter goes. Crowd likes it. The Iceman nails it. And Hong Kong win by five. 22 points to 17 here at Football Club. What a final. We've seen two great finals here. And hats off to Sri Lanka, making an absolute beautiful spectacle of a game. But Hong Kong showing their class and composure to win the day, Jed. Oh, Sri Lanka gave it the best shot they could. They actually played the game the way they probably could have won it. I think they were in the right track. They played these...